When people think 80 carry, Solna is not what comes to mind. Usually you have your Ash, your Graves, your Veins, and Ezreal. However, after playing ranked games for quite a while now, and experimenting with 80 Solna, I've become convinced she can be up there with the best of the best. Her damage output is beyond ridiculous. Her burst, combined with a great support, can lead to you snowballing bot lane. And before people rage on about how she's a support and not supposed to be played AD carry, that's part of the reason why she does so well. I mean, think about it. If you see a support playing AD carry, you're going to be like, alright, I'm going to stomp the shit out of her. However, you take people by surprise over and over again when they get bursted down. And that's a key factor of why it works so well. People aren't expecting the burst. So please, if you're not a believer in AD carry Solna, stick around and I'm sure I can convince you otherwise. I can't tell you how many times I've picked her, been called a troll, and then completely carried games for my team. It's unlike anything else I've ever played. So without further ado, let's jump into Runes and Masteries. Out of all the games I've played AD Carry Sona, I don't think there's been a single time I haven't picked these runes. Attack Damage Quints, Attack Damage Reds, Armor Yellows, and Magic Resist Blues. I can't stress enough how important Armor Yellows and Magic Resist Blues are. You really need that survivability early game. Because I'm not going to lie to you, Sona is incredibly squishy early game. If you can't play passive and know when to initiate, this is not going to work for you. As for the Reds and Quints, it's simply to help your early game damage. As for Masteries, I go 23 Offense, 0 Defense, and 7 Utility. I specifically pick up points in AP because of Sona's AP ratios. Once again, this really helps in early game. However, these Masteries are my personal preference, so you can do whatever you want and still be pretty successful. When you start off, you always want to go Boots and Pots. Always. Then, rush a Sheen as fast as you possibly can. There's two things you always need to remember about Sona. One, she fucking hurts. Two, you really, really need a Sheen. It's such a critical part of this build that I can't stress enough how important it is to get it as early as you can. After that, it's pretty straightforward. Rush a Triforce, go Infinity Edge, and get your Phantom Dancers. Pretty simple. A Bloodthirster can also be extremely useful. Honestly, late game build is not what matters as much as early game build. Early game really decides how your lane is going to turn out, especially with AD Carry Sona. As I stressed over and over again, early game is very important. You've got to wisely know when to initiate and when to pull out and just farm. However, if you see an opening, go for it. Do not underestimate her burst. Getting first blood with Sona is surprisingly easy, as shown here. Bursting somebody who's half health is an incredibly easy task for Sona. Often, you'll find people seem to stick around longer than they should simply because you're a Sona. The trick is timing. Comboing her three main abilities together, her passive, her Q, and her ult, can lead to some shocking results. Her passive is really what makes this possible. A great support is also a key factor and getting kills. Anybody with a stun I found does extremely well with Sona. So it's optimal that you take either Leona or Taric as your support. With those two, 
Bot lane will turn into CC Hill. I'll come back to one other fact I made earlier. Sona is very squishy. The other team will target you as hard as they can, and if you do not play defensively and know when to back out, you'll end up with quite a few deaths on your hands. So sticking with your team or your support equals your survival. Here I strayed out a bit too far and it cost me. First off, thank you all for watching and I hope I've been able to help you out some. AD Carry Sona is immensely fun and you should definitely give it a try. This is my first video ever and it's been fun. It's extremely rough around the edges I know, but I'm hoping I'll get better. I give more details on my AD Carry Sona in the description box, so check there if you have any questions. Again, thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to join me for a game, add me on League.